Hey everyone, so Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty starts on Sunday, March 12th. So I wanted to do a video sharing my recommendations and then also the products that I'm thinking about trying. So if you've tried them and you like them or don't like them, please let me know because sometimes with that discount, I feel like I'm tempted to try some new brands, but I would love to hear your thoughts on them. There are actually a ton of new brands and new products in this sale that they don't normally include. I know a big complaint for a lot of people is that they include the same products over and over, which personally I tend to be a fan of because I know some of my staples are going to be discounted twice a year or once a year, but there's actually like a new first time steal, I think every single day except for two. So for those of you that wanted them to switch it up, this might be worth checking out. I'm going to kind of highlight my top recommendations and then just chat about the sale, but I'll actually put a link in the description box below. Everything's up on their website, so you can scroll through and see the different deals that are happening throughout the entire three weeks. It's definitely worth checking out because there are a ton of luxury and high-end makeup brands for 50% off. So when the products are on sale, they're on sale for that day only. It only lasts 24 hours. Also, if you're not someone who's buying new makeup or skincare right now, definitely skip the sale. Don't buy something just because it's discounted. I feel like that can be a big temptation when it comes to products that are like 50% off. I would more so so maybe look at it and see if there's anything you would pay full price for or if any of your staples are on sale that you would end up buying at the full retail value in a few months and then maybe try those products or again just skip it completely but I do want to kind of highlight my favorite recommendations for those of you that are looking to get some products for a discounted price. Let's start with day one. So on Sunday, March 12th, the Tarte Maneater Mascara is on sale for $12.50. It's normally $25. They do have a black one and a brown one, which I didn't realize. I'm definitely a black mascara fan, but I know a lot of people like a more just subtle option, so brown could be a good alternative. If you are looking for separated, lengthened, lifted lashes, this is a great option. If you're looking for a ton of volume, I would skip over this one, but if length is what you go for, this is a really great option for that. I feel like it stretches the lashes and makes them look really dramatic in that way. I also find that that mascara stays in place really, really well without any flaking or smudging. So that one is a great option, especially now that it's more down to like a drugstore price point. One product that I am considering is a foundation from Tarte. This is their face tape foundation. So it's normally $40, it's on sale for 20. I know the Shape Tape Concealer was very, very big years ago. I actually haven't used that in a few years, but I have been getting more into Tarte as a brand over the past year, year and a half, and I've enjoyed a lot of the products I've tried. So I'm kind of curious to try this out. It's a full coverage foundation with a natural matte finish. It's supposed to feel weightless and then also like smooth and hydrate the skin. I've been getting back into matte foundations as a whole. I'm definitely curious to try this out. I think I'm actually going to go to Ulta this weekend because I wanted to pick up a few other things and maybe I'll swatch it in store and see what the texture is like. But if you've tried that and you have like oily or combo skin, I would love to know your thoughts and whether or not it wears well on the skin and actually feels weightless. There are two different skincare products on sale from Peach and Lily for 50% off. I haven't tried either one of these products, but I did want to point them out in case you are a fan of the brand. I do like Peach and Lily products. I think overall they tend to be very lightweight, very gentle on the skin. If you're a fan of like that glass skin look, I think the brand overall might be more ideal for you because they do give your skin like this beautiful hydrated glow. And I find that they are, like I said, a little bit more gentle on the skin. So the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream is on sale. It's normally $43, but you can get it for $21.50. Again, I haven't tried this, but it says it's a weightless formula. It leaves your skin feeling calm and supple, which definitely kind of like falls in line with the other products I've tried from the brand. And then their Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum is on sale for half off. So that one will be $25. This one is an online only deal. There are a few online only deals that I'm going to be sharing in today's video. So I'll make sure to note that in the description box just so you know. But if you are looking for that type of serum, you can get that for 50% off on Sunday. On Monday, March 13th, the Urban Decay Hydrating Vice Lipsticks are on sale for $10.50. They're normally $21. They do have a ton of shades to choose from. I'm actually on Ulta's website right now, so let me see. 34 shades. They have a mix of nudes and deeper shades, a ton of great options. This is actually one of my favorite cream lipstick formulas. I have a few shades in my collection and they're very comfortable, very, very moisturizing, super creamy, and they have really good pigmentation. So I enjoy them a lot when I am wearing more of like a traditional lipstick. So I haven't tried anything from REM Beauty. The brand as a whole hasn't really appealed to me personally, and I know that it's gotten some mixed feedback as a whole, but there are some products on sale 
sale, or maybe this is the only one. The Midnight Shadows eyeshadow palettes are going to be on sale for $12. They're normally $24. If you are a fan of like a smaller eyeshadow palette or you've been wanting to try the brand, this is a pretty good deal. I don't know what the quality is like. So I would definitely recommend checking them out in person. I will say, I always thought the packaging looked very cheap. I always say like a mix between like Claire's and Clinique. But I did check out the REM display at Ulta once and the products themselves look and feel a lot more luxurious or the quality just seems better in person. I still wasn't really super drawn to the brand. I still haven't tried anything, but I would say if you're considering these products, maybe check them out in person before picking them up. This deal is going online, or this deal is going to be available online and in person. So that's going to be on Monday. On Wednesday, March 15th, the Stila liquid eyeliners are on sale for $12. That's a great deal because they're normally $24. And I think the quality of the Stila eyeliner is great. I've gone through a ton of the black ones. I wouldn't say it's necessarily my favorite go-to because usually I do prefer a brush tip over a felt tip. But if you like felt tip liners, this this is such a nice option and they do have seven seven different shades there's a black a gray a deep brown but they also have some colorful shades as well including a green and a blue I do like colorful liquid liner but sometimes I have a hard time finding formulas that work well and show up well on my skin I just tried some from LA girl and they weren't great and I was disappointed because I love LA girl but if you are looking for a colorful liner or just a staple like a black or a brown that's really rich and intense and stays in place well Stila is a great option and $12 really is a great deal. I wanted to know if you guys have tried this product. I really like Murad. Their products are a little bit more expensive, but typically I do find them to be worth the price point. I haven't tried this one, but it's going to be on sale for $39.50. It's normally $79. It is the Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. So it's a peptide meets hyaluronic treatment that erases the look of wrinkles by smoothing and reducing wrinkle intensity instantly. Now I'm not dealing with a ton of wrinkles and obviously a product like this is not meant to be a replacement for something like Botox or filler or whatever cosmetics procedure you choose to have, but it has really good reviews. I'm just kind of curious to know if it works, if you've tried it or not. So let me know what you think. Again, this is not going to be like a permanent result, but if you're someone who kind of likes to smooth the look of fine lines before you go in with makeup, this might be a nice option. So I wanted to hear your thoughts on that if you've tried it out. If you're looking for a lip plumper that actually works, on Thursday, March 16th, the Too Faced lip plumpers are going to be on sale for 50% off. So two different options, the Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper. Plumpers, which I think are a little bit less intense than the next option, but these come in five really pretty shades. I think they do work to make your lips look really full and really, really smooth. And then the Lip Injection Maximum Plump. This is like their extra strength lip plumper. Again, a little bit painful. You get like that intense tingle, but if you're looking for actual results, these really do plump up the lips. A few products from About Face are going to be on sale for 50% off. This is an online only deal, but these products are really great options if you do like matte lip products. The Matte Fix Lip Pencils are so nice. They're normally 12. They're going to be discounted as $6, which is such a steal. I like this formula a lot because it's very, very creamy, super lightweight, but it dries down and it stays in place all day long. I think it is such a steal because I would pay $12 for them. I do, again, like I said, have a few of these and I like wearing them on their own, but also under lipstick because it really does work to extend the wear of whatever lip product I'm wearing on top. If you like a matte long wearing liquid lipstick, the Paint It Matte Lip Colors are on sale for $8. I don't wear these as much because when I do wear more of a matte lipstick, I usually like something a little more comfortable. These aren't completely uncomfortable, but they are are like a true liquid lipstick. So again, they do have really pretty colors. I think the quality is great if that's the type of formula you like. Again, $8 is an absolute steal. So I thought it was fun to see some products from About Face. Last day of week one, Saturday, March 18th, the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream is on sale. It's normally $52. It's going to be on sale for $26. This is an online only deal, but I think I actually bought this during the last 21 Days of Beauty because it is a really nice, intense, hydrating moisturizer. I am, I'm actually trying to get my husband to use it right now because he always, like every few months, he's like, okay, I'll stick to a skincare routine and then he doesn't. So I gave him like a really gentle Murad cleanser 
and this moisturizer and said like just start with these two products because he has really dry skin and this works really great if you have dry skin. And then the Beauty Blender Bubble Sponge is on sale for half off, it's $10. I was reading about this because I wasn't sure if it was any different than the original. They say that it is the exact same formula, just the lighter shade. It has some mixed reviews, so I don't know, you might wanna do your own research to see for sure. It is an online only deal, but if you love the Beauty Blender and you don't care about having like the hot pink one, $10 is a steal. Okay, moving on to week two. On Monday, March 20th, Smashbox primers are 50% off, which is a great deal because these are a little bit pricey. They're normally $42, so you can get them for $21. And I do think Smashbox does do a great job with their primers. They have the original photo finish, which a lot of people love. My favorite is the Primerizer Plus. So I did love like the older Primerizer. I went through so many bottles of that years ago. And then when they discontinued it, I wasn't sure if they were going to bring it back. They have like this new improved version version, which I did try. I think I got a sample. I either did like a point perk from Sephora or it was an add-on when I placed an order. And the formula does feel the same. It feels a little bit more smoothing on the skin, but if you are looking for a very hydrating primer, that one's a great deal. I go through it kind of quickly because it is very watery. So I would buy it for 50% off. And again, they do have some different options if you have you know, redness or you deal with dryness or dullness, they do have some other primers that kind of target those concerns too. So we all know highlighter is having its moment right now. And if you're looking to get one for a discounted price, the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighters are on sale for $17. They do have four different shades and these look really pretty. I don't know that I've heard a ton about them. And, you know, again, they're not like a brand new product, so they might not be getting a lot of hype right now, but they do have a lot of positive reviews on Ulta's website. It's a lightweight radiance enhancing highlighter with a bouncy texture. It's supposed to melt into the skin for a barely there feel. It sounds nice. I feel like I might try these. Sound like they might be kind of similar to the ColourPop Super Shock highlighters. But I don't know, again, they have really good reviews. They have four different shades. So these are going to be on sale on Monday, March 20th for $17 if you're curious about them. Tuesday, March 21st, the Urban Decay Shadow Sticks are on sale for $13.50. They're normally $27, and I do have a few of these. I don't really recommend them at the $27 price point, to be honest, because I think the quality is there. They're really gorgeous. They have beautiful colors to choose from, but there are less expensive shadow sticks. Like the e.l.f. shadow sticks are really great in my opinion. I do think Urban Decay's formula is maybe a little bit creamier. And if you're someone who wears like a shadow stick every single day, it might be worth it to splurge on it. But if you're someone who uses it on occasion or there is like a certain shade you would like to try, I would recommend picking them up at $13.50. $27 just feels like a lot for one shadow, but I think $13.50 is more of a reasonable price point. And I do think the quality is good. Okay, at first when I saw this deal, I thought it was the Blonzers, but it's not. The Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blushes are on sale for $12.50. If the Blonzers were on sale for $12.50, like I feel like those would sell out so fast. But I wanted to ask you if you've tried just like their regular Gen Nude powder blushes and what the formula is like. I do love the bronzers. I think the quality is great. They're very, very light on the skin, but they're really glowy. And I can't tell if these are glowy or not. I don't think they are. Like based on the photos online, these look matte. Well, I don't know. Some of them do look glowy. So I feel like maybe this is something I would have to check out in person. They are going to be on sale in person and online. But again, have you tried this formula? Do you like it? They have a bunch of beautiful colors, including like lighter, softer pinks, deeper berries. So I'm curious about them. On Friday, March 24th, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara is on sale. So that's normally 28, it's on sale for 14, but the new chocolate version is also on sale, which is kind of a newer launch. I, I personally haven't tried this mascara in a long time. And I don't know what it is about this one, but I feel like I go back to it like every few years and try it out again because I wonder if I'm going to like it. My mascara preferences have changed a little bit over the years, so maybe I would like it. But in the past when I've tried it, I think it did a good job adding like a little volume, a little length, but it wasn't anything, you know, so super amazing that I felt like I needed to repurchase it over and over. Also, I did find that in the past it flaked and smudged on me, but I know a lot of people still love that. So if that is your go-to or you wanna try the brown one, it's going to be on sale for $14. One of my favorite cleansers is on sale this day as well. It is the Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. So it's normally 46, it's going to be on sale for $23. I feel like you get a ton of product in Murad cleansers. I just finished one up. I filmed an empties video, which should be going up soon. 
but I think their cleansers are nice. They tend to be very gentle on the skin. In my experience, this one, like it says, is an exfoliating cleanser. So if you're looking for more of a gentle exfoliating cleanser, I do think this is a really great option and it will last you forever. Like I think their cleansers last me like I want to say six months because I do think you get a lot of product in them. Saturday, March 25th, the It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination is on sale for 22. They have a ton of different versions at this point. This past year, I tried the matte version and then I also tried the nude glow version. The matte version was on sale during the last 21 days of beauty and I do love that. I'm so glad I picked it up. But I haven't tried the Illumination version. If you like the CC Plus cream but you want more of a glow, this could be a good option for you. I, I do like their CC Plus line. Honestly, I recommend it to so many people I know in real life. Like if I'm recommending a product to like a friend or an aunt or someone who's looking for more of like a natural feeling based product with good coverage, I always direct them to this section at Ulta because they do have different formulas that kind of work depending on your skin tone, your skin type, and it's just a very easy product to apply. You can use your fingers or a brush and it looks great. Speaking of brushes, 50% off the It Brushes for Ulta, like all of their airbrush foundation brushes. It Cosmetics makes some of the best makeup brushes. The It Brushes for Ulta line is a little bit more affordable. They're, they're kind of like around like that $25 price point, but then they're going to be on sale for half off during the sale. So if you need a new foundation brush, then I definitely recommend checking these out. My personal favorite is the Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush number 101. Again, I think I got this during a sale in the past and it's dome shaped. So I feel like it does a really great job if you want to use it for cream cheek products or foundation. Let's finish up with week three. I feel like some of the best deals are happening during the third week. So on Sunday, March 26th, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps are going to be on sale for $10.50. I feel like these will completely sell out. This is an online only deal, which again, I feel like will contribute to the fact that it will sell out quickly. I do have one shade, or no, do I have two? I do, I have Cherry Blossom and White Peach. I will say when I initially tried these, I didn't like them as much as the original Maracuja Juicy Lips because the shades that I have are very light. So on their own, they kind of look streaky on the lips, but I've been wearing them over lipstick lately and I do really enjoy them. I kind of want to pick up the shade Honeysuckle because I feel like a lot of people mention that one as a favorite. It's a little bit deeper. But I do think there really isn't a big difference between the plumping version and the regular version. So if you've wanted to try out this formula, I would pick up the plumping version since it is on sale, if there's a shade you like. Just keep in mind that the plumping version as a whole tends to be a little bit more sheer, at least in my experience. The original line has a little more pigment, but if you're wearing them over like a lip liner or a lipstick, that might not be a big deal to you. But I do like the Maracuja Juicy Lips. Now that we're heading into spring in, well, soon, next week. I don't know the first official day, but now that I'm like in a spring makeup mood, I feel like I've been wearing them a ton lately. One of my favorite blush formulas is the Persona Super Blush Formula. It's normally $22. It's going to be on sale for $11. This is an online only deal. I know the shade Bubble went viral last year. Everybody was talking about it, but I have to say my personal favorite is the shade Georgia. It is the most beautiful, like warm, bronzy peach. I think the shade is gorgeous. I feel like it is a spring, summer, fall staple for me, but the shade bubble could be a fun option if you're really into like that bright bubblegum pink. $11 is such a good deal. Those blushes are super creamy, very smooth, very, very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. On Monday, March 27th, the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Powder Foundation is on sale for $14.75. I know a ton of people love this product. I actually bought mine, again, during 21 Days of Beauty, and I used to love this product, and then I repurchased it, and I just don't necessarily love it these days. I just filmed my powder declutter. It should be up soon, and I did end up decluttering that one because I just don't reach for it. But again, I know a ton of you guys swear by that product, so if it is your favorite, you can get it for 50% off. That same day, the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liners are on sale for 11. So I know a lot of people love the KVD liquid liner, but I did try these pencil liners a few months ago and they stay in place really well. So if you're looking for like a long lasting pencil liner for the waterline, the upper lash line, this one dries down and does not move. A lot of people ask for like the most long wearing pencil liners and this is one of them. Okay, the last thing happening that day that I wanted to mention, 50% off minted semi-matte lipsticks and lip liners. So the lip liners are going to be $12 and then the lipsticks, or no, the lip liners are normally $12 
and the lipsticks are normally $16.50. So you can get the liners for $6, the lipsticks for $8.25. They have really beautiful shades, definitely a lot of deeper nudes. Mented Cosmetics is a black owned brand and I do have a lot of their lip glosses because again, those were on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty last year and I picked up like four or five of them. The formula is so beautiful, like very glossy, very comfortable. I haven't tried their lip liners. I do have one of their lipsticks and I do like it. It's very, again, lightweight and comfortable on the lips. This is probably my number one recommendation of the entire sale. On Tuesday, March 28th, the Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum is on sale for $36. What a steal. I'm definitely grabbing this. It's normally $73 and I've been using this regularly since... Why do I always forget? I, I can never remember. I feel like it was November, probably December. I've been using it regularly since December and I have seen such a difference with my brows. My brows literally look like the before photo. They don't quite look like the after photo. They're not that intense, but they're definitely darker. They're thicker. Like I, I notice a difference even when I'm doing my brows every morning because I don't have to spend as much time filling them in. So this really does work. If you have been sparse brows like me, Definitely worth trying. I mean, I think $73 is expensive, but I probably would buy it at the full price point. Not the full price point. I'd probably wait until like a Sephora VIB sale. I feel like it's still worth it for 73, but that is a lot. Like that is a commitment. I had to think about buying it because I don't know, like $73 for something you're going to put on your brows and you're not sure if it's going to work feels like a lot. The Ordinaries Serum works really well for my lashes. So I was thinking about switching to that for my brows. But again, because I've seen really great results with the Grande Brow, I do feel comfortable recommending this. I think it is so, so good. Okay, on Wednesday, March 29th, the Urban Decay eyeshadow singles are on sale for $10.50. At first, I thought it was the Moon Dust eyeshadows, which I would have grabbed one. I did buy one recently and I love it, but I feel like $24.00. Are they normally 24 or 21? Yeah, the Moon Dust eyeshadows are normally 24. Their regular single shadows are normally 21, which again, just still feels like a lot for one single shadow, especially Urban Decay. The Moon Dust eyeshadows are a little bit unique, but the regular single shadows, while they have some pretty colors, I don't know that the formula is such a standout formula that I would pay $21 for it. But if there is a shade you love, $10.50 is a lot more reasonable. That's more, again, of like a drugstore price point. I do have one of these. I think I have the shade Floored. I'm pretty sure I got it in like a subscription box or I got it, I don't, I didn't actually buy it. I know that I got it as like some sort of freebie or in a subscription box and the quality is nice, but again, not $21 nice. Two more deals. On Friday, March 31st, the Tula 24 seven day and night cream is on sale. It's normally $54. It's going to be discounted to 27. It is an online only deal. I like this moisturizer because it kind of falls in the middle. It's not extremely lightweight and it's not really intense and almost luxurious feeling, which I do like both types of moisturizers depending on what my skin is like and the time of the day. But I feel like this moisturizer is just like a good all around formula. It's not too intense, it's not too lightweight. So I could use this in the morning or at night, whether my skin is a little bit more oily or a little bit more dry. And I do think it is one of my favorite Tula products. I also like their vitamin C moisturizer, which is not on sale. I think I like that one a little Little bit better but this one's a great one and for $27 you can't go wrong. Last thing on Saturday April 1st the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is on sale for $15.50. Again this is an online only deal it's normally $31. Are any of you guys still loving this concealer? I have not used it for a few years at this point, but I know back in the day, everyone was reaching for this. I do like a nice full coverage concealer. Oh, you know what? This is the ultra creamy version. I'm kind of curious to try this one out. I have not used the original version in a long time, but the ultra creamy version sounds a little bit more appealing because it has like a built-in eye cream. It's supposed to be really hydrating. It sounds similar to the Kosas concealer, but maybe a little bit better. So I think I will try this out. So that's everything I wanted to share with you in today's video. Again, I'll put a link in the description box below so you can scroll through and check out the full sale and all of the details because I did not touch on everything, just kind of my favorites that I wanted to highlight. But thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know if you plan on picking anything up, if you're skipping the sale, if there are any products you recommend, let us know in the comments below. And I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.